Hey guys, and welcome back to Rad Resales. I'm Natalie. And I'm Will. And in today's video, it's another best of both worlds. We went out thrifting. We found some awesome things to sell online for a profit. And then in the second part of the video, we are going to pack these amazing sales that we had over the past weekend. And you could see how much we made and all that good stuff. So let's get right into it. Get real. On to some funky pants. We got rainbow tiger print. Hello. Of course, I'm going to look this up. The brand is called Royal and Awesome. And these are a pair of golf pants and they have a lot of crazy patterns but also some plain ones but the ones with a pattern definitely sell better than the uh, just solid color ones they got the little stitched on brand there and these should go for around 30 40 dollars funky 489 All right, so going through the shorts, I spot these two Nike shorts here, loose fit at knee length, new at tags. Me and Nat have been having really good luck with the women's, selling for like 18 to 20 bucks. When we get them for 489, I don't mind taking the chance, especially new at tags, pre-owned. I would never even look at these twice, but brand new, yes. And then, these really stand out. They got like a thick material. It's almost like that. I forget the exact name, but it's Emmanuel something. These are Happy Souls. We got two here. I'm gonna look them up. Hopefully they're something. Very interesting. What is that? HHS. It's just on repeat for both of these. Interesting. I'll be back with comps. A few moments later. So that was my fear. These are nothing. They're trying to be something though. They are an Instagram brand. Their shorts sell for like 50 bucks on Instagram. I couldn't find any listed anywhere on eBay, Poshmark, all of those platforms. So they are going back sadly. It's a shame because they feel so nice, but it's a crazy pattern. It's gonna take a special buyer to even consider these and it being their size. So both of these going back. All right, so just got them in the shoe aisle here. These are all pickups. These are tuck footwear. I guess they're vegan leather. Brand new at tags, as you see here, $6.99. Now with tuck, the pre-owned doesn't do as well as the brand new. I'm only picking them up because they're brand new. These guys should get us. I seen some solds in different models for like 80 to a hundred dollars so it's worth the shot even with a small amount of sold then we got brooks adrenaline gts what is that 22 these are a size 12 great brand or model of brooks you should be on the lookout for as long as the tread is good and no stains that little mark there should come out with these guys it ranges from like 30 bucks to 50 and these will clean up real nice, so I have no problem even taking 30 for them. Then, we got these awesome Air Maxes. I think it was called Terraway. Oh, Terror Skate. And with Nike, if you don't know, that little code there starting with DM is how you could search it on eBay and pull up the exact comps. These guys, we should be able to get 30 to $60 for no cleanup needed that is what me and natalie love just a wipe down ready to list and then these chunky boys i think it's pronounced dominia it's a japanese brand this is like a goth thing or rocker thing chunky are great keywords for this the tall ones they sell for like a hundred bucks. And this is just looking at comps on eBay. I think on Poshmark and Macari, we should be able to get at least $50 for these based on the style. How cool are they? Not bad. All right, so this hoodie actually really surprised me. I would have never guessed the brand of this one. 
So on the back, you see a skull, and then it says, Come Hell or High Water Torpedo Crew. No idea what that means. So I flip it around, and it's a zip-up hoodie, and the brand is Patagonia, organic cotton, and I obviously had to look this one up because it's not your regular Patagonia hoodie, which would be great pickups as well, by the way. This one had not many sold at all, but in terms of the available listings, they were priced high like ranging from 50 to to $100. So I definitely wanted to pick this one up, give it a shot, and price it in that lower range because they're not really selling that well, and I don't want it to just sit and collect dust. Hey, Will. All right, I have a surprise pair of pants here, and by surprise, I mean I'm surprised this is the brand that it is. They look like a pair of double knee cards. Canvas. Can you guess it? Haha. <laughs> Banana Republic. I would have never guessed that. And looking at the comps, there's not many listed with the double knee. I mean, look how big they are. But I think I can get between $25 to $30 for these. They have a minor beautiful fade on them no marks or streaks and i don't really think these are going to sell on ebay there might be a poshmark or even depop type of pants so yeah banana republic double knee canvas pants what all right so just pulled these off the hat rack if you've been watching this channel that little monkey is one of our favorite brands to find clothing wise and it's Haller Bros. With their clothing, it sells super fast. Every single item we pick up, we keep no longer than I, it feels like a week. With these hats, I expect no different. We might even lot them up. And they are 99 cents here each. So that's awesome. So I'll have $2 into them. I think we could probably get about 15 to 20 for each one. Maybe if we lot it up, we'll just do two for 30 or something for the quicker sale. But very nice. These are like the mesh back. I think they're called like trucker hats, if I'm not mistaken. And the condition is perfect. You always want to check the little sweat band right there. Make sure there's no gunk. And we look good. This one has been worn, it looks like a little bit, but the foam there looks clean. So we're good. All right, we are back to the pack slash ship with us part of the video. We're gonna start off with eBay. If you have been with us for a while, you know that we cross list on eBay, Poshmark, Depop, and Mercari, and we do use List Perfectly as a cross-listing tool to just easily create and cross-post all of the listings. We had sales on all of our four platforms. So starting off with eBay, we have this Dickies Heavyweight Canvas Jacket with like a corduroy collar and a blanket lining. That's nice keywords to use here. This one sold so fast. And it's crazy because I had zero faith in this because the brand is Dickies. Uh -huh. And this is shockingly going to Florida. I didn't think blanket lines, <laughs> blanket line jackets were even legal to have down there. Oh, that's a big boy. That, that's, that's a big burrito. Wow, that only costs $6.76 to ship. Whoa. I like that. Uh, distance matters. If this was going to California, it would have been like $13. Minimum. Yeah. To keep things simple, when I'm going over the items of how much we made, I'm just going to go over the gross profit, the cost of goods, and how much we walk away with the net profit. All right, so we bought the item for $2.80 in our mystery haul. It sold, including shipping in all of these items. This one was $48 and some change. And then we walk away with $31.96. <sighs> Next on eBay, we have a pair of Tommy for your mommy jeans. We don't pick up the Tommy Hilfiger jeans unless they have the big flag logo on the back and they're men's. And even then, they don't have a great sell through rate, but we've been selling these, so we have experience selling them, and that's why we keep picking them up. Sometimes the uh, comps on eBay are not 
correct for you. So you might do better or you might do worse. I'll be using the 12 by 15 and a half for this one because it's kind of big. All right, so for these Tommy jeans, we bought them for $6. They sold for 35. We walk away with $15.47. I'll take it. Yeah. All right, we can't have a ship with us without bread and butter items. Here we got a pair of Adidas track pants. These are modern, so not vintage or anything like that, but they still sell. This item right here is something that like just gets over our $10 threshold <laughs> right. for the most part, since we get them for $4.89 at the thrift and typically sell them for about 20 to 25. Mm -hmm. I think I accepted an offer for like 17 plus shipping on these. That'll still put us over that $10 mark mm -hmm. as long as shipping isn't crazy. Yeah, so with shipping, we sold these for $24 and some change. We bought them for $4.89. After everything else, we walk away with 13 bucks. Yeah. The next one that we have is not one that we pick up at the thrift store. You have to get these cheap, but for some reason, these are selling for the price point that we're putting them up at. So these are the Lee Extreme Comfort Straight Fit Khaki Chino Pants. Only pick them up if you get them less than like 50 cents, I would say. A dollar. A dollar? Yeah. Yeah, because they sell for usually like 14 plus shipping. 14, 16 dollars? Depends on your model that you use for reselling. Yeah. And small sales add up to. We got these for 25 cents, sold for about 22 and change. We walk away with $11.85. All right, next up we have a bundle. These are two just sweatshirts in the same size that I just put together. We got these for a total of 48 cents altogether. Sold these for $30 and some change and we walk away with $19.68, so almost a 20 spot on an investment of 48 cents. Yeah. I wish I could do that 40 times a day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next, we have a nice piece by Wrangler. It's a denim jacket, and it's rugged wear. This is a really nice denim jacket that we got in a mystery haul that we got recently. Definitely a good video to, or videos to watch if you haven't already. Sold for $30, I'm shocked. The shipping was only $6.26, and we walk away with $16.60 for this bad boy. Mm. All right, moving on to Depop, which popped off a little bit. We have a Carhartt jacket, a very nice canvas hooded lined jacket. Size small, which I thought was going to deter the price point a little bit, but it didn't. I had a price at $80, and I listed it and I had five offers for $60 on Depop within two days. And I countered every one of them with 70. And none of them came through, of course, it's Depop, Depop offers. And then one person bought it full price. So there, sometimes when you have a good item, you just wait for the right buyer. Because Depop buyers are just, they love to send offers and not even buy. Never come through. Depop has zero seller fees, but there is a small little transaction fee that they take out. We sold this for $80 minus the transaction fee, and there is no shipping since we shipped through Depop. Yeah. Our cost of goods was $2.80. We, we walk away with $73. Whoa! For a jacket. And it's sold in two days. We have another Carhartt jacket that sold also in one day. And this one is a women's rain jacket or rain coat, shall I say. It was super clean, but it, it did have this company logo GAF. I didn't know what this was going to do to the value. 
So I priced it just slightly below where I wanted it to be because of this and it sold in one day like I mentioned. This is the Storm Defender. So make sure you have these keywords in your listing. The Storm Defenders are waterproof. Sold for 39 after everything we walk away with 34. If you thought we were done with the car hearts, you're wrong. <laughs> we have a pair of pants this time. These are the rugged flex pants and we sell these on a consistent basis, around 20 bucks. We got these guys for 20 cents. They sold for $20 after the fees and everything. $18.23. Wow. Again, the buyer pays for the shipping on Depop. Moving on to a small sale, we have a pair of Calvin Klein low-rise straight khaki pants. Would not pick this up at a thrift store. Calvin Klein is not a brand that sells well at all, but we got this for super cheap. I, th I think it's really annoying that we say that, <laughs> but that's the only reason we picked it up. That's what I mean when I say that, because these are not worth picking up for four or five dollars. We got them for 25 cents. Yeah. And they're some cool pants. It's crazy how some brands are like good brands like Calvin Klein. They just don't resell well. So they sold for 18. We still walk away with $16. Yeah. Whoa. For some Calvin Klein jeans. Wow. So me and Natalie just posted the Crocodile Polo Ralph Lauren shoes this morning. They didn't sell. We uh we have them listed for two fifty. They sent an offer for a hundred and forty dollars. I'm not going to accept that. I want it closer to two hundred, if not at two hundred. So I'm just going to counter with that. And then last one on Depop, we have a. Steelers Windbreaker Reebok. So this is a Y2K piece. This was before Nike took over the collaboration with the NFL. Very nice stitched embroidery here. Had multiple offers on this one and I accepted some of them, but of course in Depop standard, they didn't come through until this person. It's a nice windbreaker. We purchased it for six bucks, sold for 28 we walk away with twenty dollars and seventeen cents. I don't know why I, I I I folded it inside out or not inside out backwards. That reveal when they pull I it know, out the package. I know. I gotta redo. Yeah. I gotta redo. I actually hate how that looks. People have been commenting on my folding skills. I cannot let them down. You were letting me down, right? There's there. there's pressure now. Boom! Look at that. That's how you want to open your package like when this, you buy an yeah. item. <sighs> that looks a lot better. Yeah, it does. Next platform, we have Mercari. And we only had one sale on here. It's a pair of Marmot rain pants. Got the zipper all the way down. And these have a pretty good sell through rate actually, so definitely be on the lookout for Marmot rain pants, and these are women's as well. So Makari also does not have any seller fees. We picked these up for five dollars, we sold them for twenty-five, so we walk away with twenty dollars. And last we have the Poshmark platform. We ship everything on Poshmark through USPS packing material, whether it's a padded flatrate envelope, a Tyvek envelope, a USPS box, because you can use anything with Poshmark, so rather use free shipping material. This is a Patagonia koi fish all over print, like polo shirt. And I thought this was a $25 piece to begin with, and then I looked up the comps and some of them were selling for in the 70s. So I priced mine up there as well. And me and this buyer went back and forth for two days. I think we had about 10 offers going back and oh forth my gosh. until I finally settled on $40 for him just because nobody else had bought it in the meantime of those two days. 
And we don't know if this would sell for $70. You know, just because we see your comp that sells for $70 doesn't mean that you'll get it. So don't get too greedy. $40 from $5 yeah. item is not bad. No. And it's like, even if it does sell on for $70, it might take two years for right. that to happen. I'd rather get the money back in the business yeah. and back in my pocket. And it was twice what I thought I would get. Yeah. Yeah, so we got it for four eighty nine, sold for forty after Poshmark's twenty percent fee. We walked away with twenty seven dollars and some change. I'll take it. Yeah. The next one is a gray bolo. It's flint and tinder. Their pants always sell well, and this is the slim fit actually. I would say the slim fits are the ones that sell the least, just because who likes slim fit? <laughs> Took a few months, but they still sold thirty one dollars. I think it was. So we got them for four eighty nine, sold for thirty one. We walk away with seventeen dollars and eighty nine cents. Moving on to the smallest sale, we have uh, an Ohio State Polo by Champion. Don't know why I listed this. Don't know why I spent the time doing that. Not worth anything, and we got barely anything from it. We got this in 2022. <laughs> Sold for $7. We paid 22 cents. Let me get that grand total real quick. I think Natalie gave some sort of discount, I guess, because it says your earnings from Poshmark is two dollars and three pennies. So after cost of goods, one dollar, 81 cents. You might be able to buy a candy bar. Not even. All right, last piece, we have a Nike Washington Huskies <laughs> track jacket. Actually pretty nice with the big stitch patch, the embroidered logo. And uh, it is printed on here. It's a modern piece, not vintage. It's a, it's an okay item to pick up. I wouldn't be spending six dollars on it, but if you can get it for twenty-five bucks, cents, twenty-five cents, or like a couple of bucks, sure. Yeah. Nike is such an overrated brand to resell. Got the nice little embroidered hit on the back though. It's pretty cool. Sold for 18, we paid 25 cents, we walk away with 14. So, I know it's hard to find cost of goods that cheap. Yeah. We just like to be transparent. This is the price that we get stuff at. Yeah. Just always be on the lookout for different sources of ways to get inventory. Because this really opened our eyes up a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, that sums up today's thrifting and ship with us video. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. And we'll see you guys on the next one.